Welcome to the Valdez Family Homestead and thank you for joining me here today. It's a beautiful Friday. I'm sure everyone is excited for the weekend. I'm here to bring you guys a brand new video. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I've spoken in the last videos on how hot it is here in Texas and I'm sure around the world it is reaching record temperatures and so I just wanted to bring you an informative video today on keeping your girls cool during these extremely hot days. I'm letting them out right now so they can go out and forge for these bugs and stay healthy. I gotta put the girls food up here, the small girls, because the big girls like to go into the coop there, as you can see. They like to go in there and uh, eat their food. Anyways, I want to bring you guys this helpful video because I am a part of a ton of homesteader groups and I see a lot of comments out there. You know, my chickens are overheating. They don't look like they're doing well. How can I keep them cool? And all of these issues seem to be about the heat right now. So let me go ahead and show you how I keep my girls cool. I keep them cool in several ways, but one of the main ways, uh, because I keep them separated over here, this coop over here is for the small girls and this one's for the big girls. The chicken run right here behind me, they don't have access to it. So I have to keep my small girls cool in a different way than I keep my big girls cool. So let's go ahead and let me show you how I keep the big girls cool. As you can see, I have two different kitty pools in here for my big girls. Sorry, let me move this out of way. We also have this shade here. That's what's blowing in my face. And uh, that helps keep some of the sun away from this area. Uh, but usually the sun will only hit this area during the early morning times. So we really don't have to worry about the sun hitting the girls on their run during uh, like midday to like early afternoon. This kiddie pool right here, what we'll do is I've got some pavers in here. And so what we'll do is, of course this has to be clean right now and I'll bring you guys through that process because you have to clean it out every so often because these girls of course are doing their business in here too. So I have three pavers in here but that's about the amount of pavers that will fit in here depending on what size you get to keep your girls cool. These pavers will retain the cold for several hours after the ice melts that I place in here. So what I'll do is I'll fill this up about so it gets about two inches up on these pavers here and then around it I'll put tons of ice and then on top of the pavers I'll place some ice. When it melts it soaks into them. Like I had mentioned for several hours these pavers will stay cold. Chickens cool down with their feet so they like to stand on stuff to cool down. So if you don't have anything for them that they can stand on that's cool during these hot days your chickens can get overheated. If you're not providing them fresh, cooled water, uh, then they can overheat just like us, uh, especially if you don't have a hardy bird. So keeping these cool is essential to them in these hot times. Now let me show you something else I've got going here that helps these chickens out. We've got some misters going from their run. So as you can see here, let me show you. So I've got some misters just running all the way up and then it goes into here. And then we've got another mister that will miss them from the top here, runs down. And then these small girls right here in their, in their coop uh, have their own mister as well. They're all getting misted. 
So I've already given you two ways that our big girls get cooled down. The pavers and the misters. I just wanted to show you guys this as well. Look at this. I believe this is Brownie here. She likes to get onto the trampoline, especially when the kiddos are out here. They're jumping like crazy. And she loves to get up here and she'll she'll hop on there with them and she'll jump with them. I think that's what she's waiting for. She's waiting for the kids to come out and come jump with her. But uh, yeah, she likes that. Let's go ahead and get this pool cleaned out. We'll get it all ready for our girls and then uh, I'll give you guys some more ways that we keep our other girls cool down. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering, I'm sure a ton of you in yesterday's video saw this cone on Apollo's head. He had surgery, um, male surgery, if you know what I'm talking about. So he has that cone on right now. He's already had it on for about eight days. So he's got a few more days that he's got to keep that cone on uh, before he's fully healed down there. So uh, if you're wondering, nothing bad happened to Apollo. Um, he just had a manly surgery. Okay, so it's pretty much that simple. I cleaned it out for them, hosed down the pavers for them, filled it up a little bit with water, and then as you can see, I dumped the ice on top. So once that melts, that cold water will seep in to those pavers, and it'll stay cool for almost throughout the day for them to the touch. If you come out here and touch those pavers, they will be cool to the touch. And so they like to jump in there and cool down their feet and that's how they stay cool. As well as keeping their bodies cool, your chickens, as I have spoken in past videos, your girls will not want to drink their water if it's at their body temperature or of course above. So you wanna keep their water cool so in the morning we come out here, we clean out their water and then we'll take our frozen water bottles. So nothing, you don't wanna waste anything on the homestead because everything can come into use. So what we do is our water bottles, we'll fill them up with water, freeze them, and then throughout the day, you have several water bottles to interchange in your girl's water. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is the water bottle, the last water bottle we put into their water dish yesterday evening. So we're gonna go change this out. We'll basically interchange them. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna go get our small girls. I'm gonna go get their water dish, clean that one out. We'll knock this out in one punch. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please do not forget, especially if you're new, to hit that subscribe button for more useful videos and tips such as this. Also hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with every video as soon as it releases. And give us a like because it just helps us out a ton here on the channel. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.
All right, quick commercial break here. Wanted to share with you guys here on the channel some useful things that we've been getting here on the homestead and our pals down at Olafus. I believe it is pronounced Olafus. It is O-L-A-F-U-S, but it's a company that reached out to us and have many useful things that you can use on your very own homestead. They have tons of security lights on there. What they sent us out here or what I requested, they told me to go onto their site and pick something out. What I went with here is their LED work light. I have not tested it out yet. I was hoping to make a night video here on the homestead with you guys so we can kind of show it off. But what I'll probably do is plug it in, give you guys a demonstration on how bright this thing is. Uh, anyways, this is their LED work light kit. As you can see here, you got one big light in the middle and then you have two that are offset to the sides where they uh, can fold in and out so you can get that perfect angle when you're trying to work nights on your homestead and get you that daylight that you're missing out on. The LEDs they're using on this are a guarantee to last you for 30 hours lifetime. That is a very long time to have this light functioning. But let's go ahead and open up the box. As I had mentioned, they have tons of useful products you can use on your very own homestead, especially security lighting. If you need security lighting for your homestead, to not only uh, keep your homestead secure, but if uh, you have a coyote problem, we all know that a big deterrent for like coyotes or any other predators that are harmed to your chickens or any other animals on your homestead, they don't like those security lights that come on and flash them. It kind of deters them from coming onto your homestead. But they have tons of things. I will have links down in the description so you can check these guys out. They have an Amazon storefront. But let's go ahead and unbox what I got today. So you got your instruction manuals. So in the box there, there's your light. And they package it very well in there. They have all sorts of padding in here just to make sure that light does not get damaged upon delivery. So there is the main light right there in the front. I love how they included this protective film right here. Up, uh, so when they're transporting it, it doesn't get scratched up in the box. So I'll just leave that on there for now. And then here are your two foldable lights. So these lights come off to the side here. You have one on each side. And then you've got a fairly long cord here, probably about 10 foot long. And then on the cord, you have your on and off switch for this light. Uh, so there is a foldable base on this light, uh, but for more support in the box, they include this very sturdy metal base here so you can attach to the bottom of this. So we'll go ahead and do that. Take your screw. All right, so you got a sturdy base here at the bottom to ensure that this thing is not gonna fall down when you're uh, busy working on the homestead. It's a good looking light, but it can be a good looking light. Let's see how it performs. All right, since it's not dark here on the homestead, how we are going to test this out, I have about a six by five bathroom here. I placed the light in there. We're gonna go in there pitch black. I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna see how bright it gets. All right, we're in the pitch black here in the bathroom. Now let me go ahead and power it on. Whoa, man, look at that. Six by five bathroom is fully lit. Look how bright this is. Now I can't even look at that. That is super bright, super bright. Let's go ahead and take this back outside and finish up this product review. There you have it. This is the work light from Olafus. What I like about this design, not only does it have a sturdy metal base to make sure this is going nowhere when you're hard at work, also protected is these LED lights by have like a plexiglass material here. I don't like those work lights that actually utilize real glass on these especially if you're using this in a work environment, is very hazardous 
if that breaks or you drop something on this. So I love the design on this Olafus LED work light. And also on this, you've got an integrated carrying handle for easy transportation. So when you're ready to go on the go and need to move this light, you fold these in right here and then you can take this on the go. And as you saw when we were using it in that six by five bathroom, this thing lights up the room like crazy. So if you are interested in this Olafus work light, please go check them out. Links will be down in the description. Okay, so that is what you wanna do to keep their water cool uh, so they can have fresh, clean, nice and cool water throughout the day. You wanna be checking up on those water bottles. If you have bigger water dispensers for them, of course you can freeze something much larger such as a milk jug, which I'm about to show you something, how I keep my small girls cool. And I apologize if you can hear it. One of the girls back there is laying an egg. Um, so just check their water throughout the day just to make sure you have that fresh water uh, and keeping it cool for them. Getting to how I keep my small girls cool over here since they are separated from the older chickens on this side. Let me go ahead and show you. Everything can be used on the homestead. We like to keep a few milk jugs and like I had showed you the water bottles to keep the water cold throughout the day. The milk jugs, uh, the chickens, if you, especially if you have a bigger run and don't wanna do the pool method I showed you, you can freeze a ton of these gallon water jugs or milk jugs and just freeze them and the chickens love to stand on top of these. Um, of course, they're letting out that cool air so they'll lay next to them as well, keeping them cool throughout the day. And so if you have a big chicken run, you can lay several of these inside that chicken run and you'll see your chickens either standing on them or laying next to them. So this is what we use for our small girls since they are separated. Uh, we'll throw one of these in there uh, it'll last most of the day and then we have several more inside that we can replace with this one and then we'll just interchange them. We'll freeze this one again and then bring a new one out. These come in handy so don't throw away your gallon milk jugs or water jugs and freeze them and they can be a useful tool to keep your girls cool throughout the day. Before closing out this video, I've given you several things that you can do to keep your chickens cool in a hot climate such as if you live in Texas. So I've given you the water jug method, freezing that, and then keeping their water cool. So freezing bottles and then sticking it into their water dispensers to keep the water cool. Also, uh, if you can pick up a kiddie pool and then picking up some of those pavers, fill it up a little bit uh, with water, just enough to cover those pavers uh, about an inch or two, and then put lots of ice around them so it'll soak in that cold water into those pavers and keep those pavers cool throughout the day. I've given you those methods to bring the body temperature of your chickens down but there are tons of other things that we like to do here on the homestead that not only is very beneficial to your chickens in this hot weather, but it, it is a tasty treat for them. So if you have any muffin dishes laying around, what we like to do here on the homestead is we will take those muffin dishes, uh, like those 12, they have 12 slots for muffins, and what we'll do is we'll cut up all kinds of fruits for them and then place them inside those dishes. And then after we do that, we might throw a little bit of chia seed in there and then we'll fill up the rest, the remainder around the fruit with water and then we'll freeze those. And then once they're ready, you've got your chickens some tasty, healthy popsicles and they'll just sit there and pick at them and it'll bring their body temperature down. That is another useful thing we like to do here on the homestead to keep our chickens cool. If you know on a hot summer day, just like us, uh, eating a popsicle can cool you down quite a bit. Uh, also what we like to do is 
watermelon. So we will leave quite a bit of watermelon when we buy ourselves a watermelon here on the homestead or hopefully when our watermelons start coming out, leave them uh, enough to where they can get a tasty treat out of it as well. We'll cut it into fourths for them. We'll throw it in the freezer. Uh, let it freeze overnight and then the next day you, you've got a treat for your chickens and they'll just pick at that watermelon melon all day and they'll pick it all the way to the rind. You'll see it, they'll, they'll love that treat. But guys, I hope this video was useful to you around your homestead and hopefully you can pick up some of these techniques that are beneficial to us here on the homestead. But I do wanna thank you once again for joining us here on the homestead. Hopefully you picked up some useful tips from this video, but until the next one, see you guys later.